My eggnog custard pie recipe is an easy dessert for Christmas. By starting off with some store-bought eggnog and enhancing the flavor with other ingredients like rum extract and nutmeg, this pie is so delicious, I'm sure it'll become a family favorite for the holidays for years to come. Let's go over the ingredients. Like I said, the main ingredient in this recipe is store-bought eggnog. I am using two cups of a good quality eggnog, 480 grams. To that, I'm going to add three large eggs and one large egg white. Along with a little bit of extra sugar, I'm gonna start off with a quarter cup of white sugar as I measure around 53 grams, but I'll taste it and I'll let you know. Although you probably would be okay with just those ingredients, I'm gonna enhance the flavor by adding one teaspoon of rum extract, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Like I said, this eggnog custard pie recipe is really easy. All we literally have to do is add the ingredients to the bowl, mix them together, and then pour them into an unbaked nine inch pie shell over there, and then bake in the oven. So, like I said, I'm just gonna pour everything into the bowl. You could use homemade eggnog for this, but I think Starbuck makes it nice and easy. Even though this would be a good dessert to have on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, it would also be a good way to use up leftover eggnog from the holiday. So honestly, I think this is just a good recipe to have. In go the eggs. Like I said, three whole large eggs, along with one egg yolk. I know this seems like a lot of eggs, and it is a lot of eggs, but this pie is basically a southern style egg custard pie, but instead of milk, I'm using eggnog. Hence the name, classic eggnog has a lot of egg yolks in it. If you've never made homemade eggnog before, take a look at the video here on my channel. I use, I think about eight egg yolks in it, if I'm not mistaken. So like I said, it's a lot of eggs, but it's necessary to have that classic flavor. Teaspoon of rum extract, teaspoon of vanilla. You could add real rum. You could do maybe a, between two and four tablespoons of rum. I'm not sure exactly what type of rum to use. I did some research and I would probably use a gold rum, but I'm not an expert in alcohol to be honest. So if any one of my viewers can give insight in the comments section as to what type of rum would be good in this, please let me know. A little bit of salt. Now I'm going to give it a taste. I think that would be okay for a lot of people, but I'm gonna add some more sugar. I am going to add another quarter cup of sugar. So a total of half a cup of plain white sugar as I measure 105 grams. In all honesty, I thought I was going to add half a cup of sugar, but I wanted to stay conservative at the beginning and add just a quarter cup. That is perfect. I think some people might like it with a quarter cup, some with half a cup, so do what I did if you're making this for the first time. Add a quarter cup, and then if you're not worried about tasting anything with eggs in it, then taste it and see what you think. I think this is one of those recipes that could go either way. Although you could definitely do this by hand, I'm gonna take my handheld electric mixer and I'm going to whip the filling for about 15 seconds just to make sure everything is well combined and also to whip some air into the filling. Now that the eggnog custard filling is complete, I'm just gonna pour it into my unbaked nine inch pie crust. 
And as you can see, I put my pie on a pizza pan. That's just to make it easier to take in and out of the oven. So I highly recommend that you put it on a pizza pan or a cookie sheet, something like that where you can hold it like that because it's gonna be a lot easier to take in and out of the oven and you won't have to worry about spilling. My pie has been baking at 350 Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. The center isn't quite done, so I'm just putting some foil around the edge so that the crust doesn't get too dark. And now the pie goes back into the oven to continue baking. After putting foil around the edge and putting it back into the oven for 15 minutes, to me, it seems like the filling is still a bit jiggly, so I'm gonna cook it a little bit longer, but I don't want the crust to get too brown. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave the foil around the edge, then I'm gonna turn off the oven and put the pie back into the oven for 15 minutes so that the residual heat as the oven is cooling off can finish cooking the pie slightly. That should be perfect. My eggnog custard pie is now done. It was in at 350 Fahrenheit, uncovered with no foil around the edge for 45 minutes. Then I put foil around the edge to protect the crust and put it back in for another 15 minutes. So that's one hour, 350. Then I turned off the oven and let it sit in the oven for 15 minutes just to finish setting the filling. But now it is done. Even though the pie was in the oven for a total of an hour with the oven on and 15 minutes with the oven off, it was well worth it because this pie looked amazing. And when I took the first bite, I knew that my eggnog custard pie recipe was a big success because it was absolutely delicious. As I said earlier in the video, this is basically an old fashioned southern egg custard pie recipe and instead of milk, I'm using eggnog. And the flavor definitely did reflect that because the flavor of the egg yolks came through very strongly. But there is also a very nice eggnog flavor as well, especially hints of vanilla, rum, cinnamon, and nutmeg. So there is no doubt that this wasn't any ordinary egg custard pie. This was an eggnog custard pie. In terms of sweetness, I think that half a cup of sugar was perfect for me. I think you could go down to just a quarter of a cup, but then it might not be sweet enough to really feel like you're eating a slice of dessert. But like I said, I thought half a cup of sugar was perfect for me because that made it sweet enough to be dessert, but not so sweet that it was overpowering. Now that you can see the slice of eggnog pie up close, you can see that the filling is soft and creamy while the crust is perfectly golden brown. Although the pie was in the oven for a long time, that foil around the edge helped protect it from getting too brown. You can also see that there is a golden brown layer on top of the pie where it was exposed to the heat of the oven. So this pie was definitely beautiful. I was also surprised by how evenly distributed the nutmeg and the cinnamon were in this pie. It seems like in a lot of Southern style egg custard pie recipes, the nutmeg floats to the top, but in this eggnog custard pie, the spices were well distributed throughout the pie. I guess maybe because the eggnog has more cream and that helped to keep all the spices from floating to the top. I'm not quite sure, but I did notice that. While they're not absolutely critical to this recipe, I think that adding a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a teaspoon of rum extract really helped to make this flavorful and truly tastes like a glass of eggnog. As I'm sure you can tell, I'm really happy with how my eggnog custard pie recipe turned out. It has plenty of eggnog flavor, so it would be perfect for Christmas or any time around the holidays. If you like eggnog, but you don't really love eggs, I would take out one of the whole eggs. I would leave the egg yolk in there because like I said, egg yolks are a big part of eggnog. One last thing I wanted to mention is that compared to the eggnog cake I made, for Christmas of 2020, which was good. This pie definitely had a lot more eggnog flavor, so I was really happy with how it turned out. If you're looking for a Christmas dessert that's a little bit different, but still classic and will make it feel like the holidays, this is the perfect recipe for you. 
or if it's after Christmas and you need to use up some leftover eggnog, this would be perfect as well. If you make this recipe, I know you'll love it. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.